hello team and welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to learn about how to explain corporate projects and devops interview so as you know like when you are going for interview the first thing that interviewer is going to ask you is explain your project or where you were working okay and that is the most trickiest part because uh, whatever tools you explain there interviewers interviewer is going to ask you about that okay so i'll explain you in what proper way you need to explain the flow the architecture okay on what things you are working on okay so before we start i would request you please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 15000 subscribers which is a big milestone okay also team i have a telegram channel which is completely many to many that means anyone can send messages so if you are having any doubt queries or issues you can just put it there me or my team member will be happy to help yeah so with that being said let's get started and let me explain you how you are going to uh, explain a project corporate project in your uh, devops interview okay so okay this is how uh, the way that i'm going to explain you exactly same way you need to explain there as well if you want to qualify for interview this is the way that you you should do okay so let me explain you for so if you can see the screen this is what first thing happens okay for example let's say you are already working on an application and you received a request not you actually there is a request came from client that we need to add something in the application okay add a new feature for example change the background color of the application right so what will happen a client or the manager will raise a jira ticket in jira ticket it will be mentioned ki this is the requirement we need to change the uh, background color of the application okay so what will happen then that ticket will be assigned to a developer not devops engineer first developer i am explaining from scratch so try to understand first that ticket will be assigned to developer and developer will start working on it okay so once the developer writes the source code out of it first developer will test it in their local machine once that is fine if everything is running fine then developer will push the source code to a github repository github or gitlab or whichever uh, whichever like uh, vcs hosting service you are using okay so once the source code is pushed into github from there a devops engineer task will start okay so uh, let me explain now so let's say we are using uh, so in this scenario i'll be taking in account uh, java based project and jenkins as a ci cd tool and from that i will explain you okay so once the source code is pushed into github what devops engineer will do they they already have the pipeline okay or if they are not having the pipeline they can create the pipeline with below uh, mentioned uh, stages okay first what will they will do they will uh, add a stage using maven to compile the source code as well as test the unit test cases okay basically uh, compilation means it will check it will check if the if there is any syntax based error is present in the source code or not if not then fine if yes then the job will fail the pipeline will fail okay second is like running the test cases so this test cases basically uh, checks the functionalities of the code if uh, if this functionality is working fine or not so these two stages will be there initially third stage we will be having sonar cube code quality check what it will do it will check if the quality of the code is good or not by quality i mean if there is any bugs vulnerabilities or any other issue in our source code that will be done by sonar cube other than that sonar cube is also going to do code coverage code coverage is basically done to check what percentage of source code is covered by test cases okay and after that next stage will be a uh, maven build package or application so basically it will package the application to generate a executable and portable format of the application which can be shared very easily okay after we have done that then we will do uh, we will run the dependency os for dependency check to perform a vulnerability scan on the source code dependencies and libraries as well as the jar file okay jar you can say application artifact so we will run os dependency check which will generate a report and let us know if uh, any vulnerabilities is present in our source code or not okay after that we are going to deploy the application artifact the jar file or var file to a nexus repository which is a artifact repository manager okay the reason that we are having nexus is because let's assume that you are having multiple versions of application okay and that multiple versions it exist inside the application artifact so inside nexus we can keep multiple versions of application artifact okay in a repository known as maven releases or maven snapshots next we have docker 
so now once our application is built next what we need to do is create a docker file and using that docker file we are going to build the build the docker image and then we are going to scan the docker image for vulnerabilities okay since docker images a uh, docker image is made up of different component different layers so trivi using trivi we can scan if there is any vulnerability in our docker image once everything is fine once we have the report then we will push the docker image to docker hub repository okay and you might be thinking ki let's say let some vulnerability is present in our docker image what should we do in that case so in that case uh, let's say i am using a base image of alpine okay and we find out okay it's not uh, secure it's vulnerable what i will do i will edit my docker file use a different alpine image which is better and it, which is more secure okay and again build the docker image and this time hopefully there will be the docker image will be less vulnerable vulnerable and then we can push the docker image to our docker hub repository private or public okay and docker hub repository it may be like on public or like if we may use cloud services so that depends on the requirement okay once we have pushed then finally once we have docker file then uh, we will write the yaml manifest files which is going to be used for deployment of application to kubernetes okay and finally we are going to deploy the application to kubernetes once the application is deployed to kubernetes next what we need to do is basically monitor the application 24/7 using a uh, monitoring tool like grafana and prometheus if application is running fine or not like that okay and one last stage will be there which you need to mention in your uh, uh, interview usually not every uh, like nobody teaches that is like we perform pen testing also pen testing can be done by a tool known as wasp zap what exactly it does so it will uh, it will do like uh, uh, attacks on your application uh, from our side only okay to test what are the vulnerability points on our application from where attacks can be done once we find out then we will inform developer and developer will fix it okay and this is how you are going to explain uh, uh, pro your project in your uh, devops interview okay because the main thing that about this uh, flow is that all the things that we need security different uh, checks different tools everything is integrated and this is what you can explain very easily and also the initial three stages that i explained you the developers jira case and the requirement so that also you should know you should not explain that in interview your explanation should be starting from github but just for your knowledge i explained this okay so team uh, i hope this is useful if it is then make sure to check out and if you want you can but post uh, create your own dietary like architecture post it on uh, linkedin and that will be useful okay team so yeah uh, that's all for today and i hope this video was useful for you you got to learn something so thanks for watching and have, have a nice day